punch tube. It's insulated. It's got a uh, basic stand for a switch. Painted it like this because obviously you're going to want to see if there's any rotation on yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Plus, you don't want to be dark because it's going to be dark yep. up there. You want yep, something absolutely. Like um, we have two cameras rigged, two GoPros rigged to, to watch it. Yeah. Um, this one, a little bit more uh, wide view. If we actually do get out of the launch tube, we have no idea. You know, we've done the vacuum chamber tests and things like that. We're going to see what happens. Um, we got to cant it at about 10 degrees. So yeah, it doesn't get it all away from the balloon. Yeah. Oh, well, we don't mind. Details. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is a little bit more close up, just, just in case, like, yeah. for example, we don't, we, all we get is a supposed ignition. We're not really sure. At least we can maybe, the tip of the rocket's right there. Yeah. We can probably indicate if we can see a little sure. wiggle of that. Sure. Oh, maybe it ignited. Then we can probably get evidence of that on the way down or after we get recovery. Um, so here's like our setup right here for tomorrow. Um, there's the rocket on the right, basic stand for timer. And and the, we're using, in a sense, our cut-down mechanism as the igniter. Oh, okay. Uh, the two GoPro cameras. These things that say BRB are the big red Bs. Um, those are our trackers. Oh, okay. Um, and, uh, and then the IIT, that's IIT's payload. Um, okay. So that's, you know. So this is very different from what we saw before. You oh, guys yeah. did a train before. Yeah. And now what you guys have system. is... Uh, is things scattered around the corners of the stabilization system? Yeah. What you want if you distribute it's the mass? It's the same idea that you have two of the two of the trackers. Yeah. We always want you always want duplicates. Yeah. Uh, you can. Yeah. I mean, you don't have one. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. You can move. But on. but that you, I remember when I saw the the train. The train mm -hmm. was parachute. balloon. The cut the cut down yeah. system. The parachute. Mm -hmm. One of the trackers. Payload. Payload. Tracker. Tracker. Yeah. And now you got. Balloon, balloon, parachute, cut down, parachute. We're actually not doing a cut down. You don't, legally, you don't need to have a cut down if you're below those FAA regulations. That's oh, okay. the whole thing. The FAA re regulation thing is um, just the ceiling. If you get anything above that ceiling, then a lot of regulations kick in. A lot okay. of requirements. Sure, and, sure, um, sure, sure. Um, and but below that, you're pretty much safe with everything. So okay. um, we prefer a cut down system. Uh, we're not in a weird way using it for this one because we're kind of using the same circuitry for, for our yeah, condition. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, um, and also... Okay, the balloon, parachute, this rig. Yeah, that's it. And then the train... Well, well, what was the rest of the train is, yeah. is at the corner? So, Pay for example... Two the, payloads yeah. and two trackers. If we put the uh, trackers on this, it would be way over six pounds. But um, what we're doing is hanging the payload or the uh, trackers from it with the 50-pound braking strength, which is another requirement for FAA regulations. Okay. So that way we separate... The, the units so it doesn't there's no six pound um, uh, single payload. Gotcha. By the way, uh, this is our this was just like a first draft, this PVC yeah. pipe. This is where we're gonna go next. This is uh, my design we're working on and it's gonna be for example this thing entire frame using the PVC which it's great off the shelf stuff, right? Yeah, but, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. What we're gonna get but the problem is it's heavy. We're gonna do carbon fiber. These aren't carbon fiber; they're okay. just fiberglass. But we're gonna do shock corded carbon fiber rods. That's what you're seeing in that. Oh, okay. Um, thing there. So imagine two circles. So these are, you know, you have to take two of these, bend it into a circle. Okay. Then, so there's two of them. You can see like. Yeah. Oh, right. Two there. two discs. Yeah. And then between them is a sinusoidal curve. That's why uh -huh. the math uh -huh. done to figure out. Because these, uh, when you get the carbon fiber ones, they have a bending radius minimum, bending radius of uh, 60 inches. So, you know, obviously that sinusoidal sort of curve can't be any higher, tighter sure. than 60 inches. And it all kind of works out if you want um, four touch points on each circle, then you need to, it all works out of that. It nice. tells you how much of the offset's going to be. Right. Now right, you have right, a solid right. frame that not only weighs only about, I think it's about 700 grams. But it's also larger because the more you can distribute the mass, the more inertial dampening area, sure, the more stable sure. it is. Plus, it's uh, since it has a three-dimensional structure as opposed to this two-dimensional, you don't get wobbles and things like that. Oh, nice. And the whole thing breaks down to a little stack like this. So <laughs> that's going to be our. That is what you call sexy. This is what I was saying about we have our yeah, yeah, yeah. we have our first draft and Absolutely. then we're, Absolutely. you know you learn and you're then so you move the. the the conversation I, be, I think at the very beginning of the next design meeting where we talk about the block diagram and mm -hmm. now I think it is absolutely essential that we have that conversation next okay. right is which one of the you know how mature are the various designs mm -hmm. the train 
versus this mm -hmm. to say, well, which one do we want to publish as version one? And, and I think we have that in our your lock, yeah, we'll talk about that in the block diagram. It meeting, depends but on your requirements. That's kind of what I would say. Okay, you know? so let's. That'll be where there we start the next meeting. Okay, yeah, well, that's okay. where we're going to start the next meeting. I think. Okay. Um, that's very exciting, and it's cool to get a preview. That's cool, yeah. and that's going to be even cooler. Um, which reminds me, can you do me a favor? Uh, can you guys grab a few things? Sure. We're going to take them to the spot.